Okay, guys, so Fortnite status is down. So, welcome to Chapter 3, Season 2 of Fortnite. What we're going to do something here. We're just going to get in here and talk until the Fortnite lets us in. If in about an hour or so, nothing happens, uh, and we're done, just, you know, <laughs> screwing around for the morning, um... We'll call it, I don't know, we'll play GT or something. I probably should have just played GT until it was ready, but I don't know. It should be ready soon. They usually don't take the song. I have no, we, they must have massively changed the map. It's been like five hours and they haven't given us any kind of word on why the server's still down. I'm also eating breakfast, which for me is cookies. So excuse your crunching. Cookies and coffee. So first thing we're going to talk about is this area right here. And then after that we're going to talk about important things that are happening today in our world. And maybe we'll talk about Fortnite. Maybe we'll talk about stuff here. Whatever. We'll talk about whatever fancy with our fancies our boat. Whatever fancies our boat. Because that is a saying that we say here in America. Fancies our boat. Oh, sorry. My volume's up. So first off, this screen, what do we see? Well, first we see what appears to be a battle. Um, people say it's an ill... I saw someone post that it was an ill-timed war theme, but uh, technically this war theme was in making way before Russia started to be a bunch of murderous assholes. Uh, it is a war theme. We have, in the background, we have a battle bus with anti-artillery or rockets exploding around it. On the right side, we have some kind of ship. Possibly, I guess. Oh, well, shit. I just made a mess. <sighs> That's possibly um, the Sevens. I'm sorry, not the Seven. The IO craft? I could be the Sevens craft. When I think seven craft, I think of falling rocks. So that could either belong to the seven or IO because it looks like it's facing off against the battle buses, and the battle buses always represent us. It could be IO, or maybe the battle buses have been taken by, uh, taken back by IO, who used to provide the battle bus to us. And that these oh I made a giant mess, holy cow. Hold on, this towel over here. Wipe things up. Welcome to Josh Makes a Mess. Get him a bib. Yeah, I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. It's fine, I'll wash that later. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it could be. It, the way it's facing off against us, I'm gonna say this IO. However, like I said, IO could have taken the battle buses back, I guess, because IO's the one who gave us the battle buses in the first place, and maybe we're now in ships. That would be cool, a new dropship type thing going on. Before the war. Um, here, further in the foreground, in uh, the background, we see some burning areas. It looks like war. In the background, we have what appears, appears to be a repurposed uh, IO drill with the giant Fortnite spray painted on the side of it. I guess I could try this and see what happens, but they're not bad. they're not on yet. <sighs> yeah, some are still late maintenance. It's not gonna listen. Um, don't, don't minimize it. Don't minimize it. Maximize it. What are you doing? It minimized my my manager, and I can't get it to go bigger. There we go. I think that's how it works. Um. It's got a giant railgun or some kind of cannon on the top of it, and then what appears to be either really big guns, more likely anti-air artillery turrets, 
just from the looks of it and my knowledge of weapons usually stemming from games. <laughs> We have some, we have a box from a drop on the right buried in the ground. We have some wheels buried in the ground. Well, that doesn't represent the cars are gone, because cars are amazing. Next to the wheels, we have spray paint. And on this chair, you see that the first middle person is sitting on. I have spray paint all over it. And the spray paint reminds me of a Ramirez skin. The Ramirez skin was the spray paint one that was like connected, tilted. And then um, we have the characters sitting on this green chair, uh, spray paint on it. The spray paint has like a happy face dog looking thing on the right, and our island on the left, sort of like Revels, Revels, is uh, some lady in a suit that looks like Seven Suits, but it is the most colorful Seven Suit ever. She could be one of the sisters. She may be Paradigm. We may be wrong about who Paradigm was, because that does not look like... Um, That does not look like Singularity. I don't think that looks like Singularity. I have Singularity I could look, but I don't possess Singularity. Um, and she definitely got a seven looking armor on it. Spacey, it's got a hose attached to the front. You can see the plating looks very similar to uh, the other three we have and the fourth one that we don't have. On the right, we have some kind of cyberpunk ninja-looking lady. Um, oh, well, she's the one with the spray can in her hand. Cyberpunk punk. <laughs> she's got like a body shell, this robotic, making her either fully replaced human with a brain inside a shell, like the major from Wisdom Shell, or an android. So you know, not human at all. Um, behind her, behind them is some metallic-looking dude with fire all over him. His looks kind of remind me of the Man of Steel, the black guy who had some of Superman's light powers. I think he had the, he may have had the power of flight and he had super strength. And he wore a metal suit of armor that covered him all. I think it was a suit. I'm pretty sure it was a suit of armor now of power that covered him. Uh, he seems to have some kind of power system all over his armor. You can see glowing spots you're supposed to hook that things into on his wrists, shoulders, back and front. Up on the tank we have some just kind of foxy anime looking chick maybe. Uh, it's really hard to tell much about her. From back here she's wearing a bit of black vest or jacket, some tight short, short tights and some leggings and she has a knife in her hand and her hair kind of says Lazy but serious. To the left of these guys, there's this lady. Um, she's the most normal looking out of this whole crew. She has what appears to be a blow torch. I'm assuming she's the mechanic of the group. She has some short jean shorts and shirts and sunglasses. And there's a skull with an X over it, maybe. And that's all we really have on her. She's the most normal. To her left is the most famous of this group. Though I have to argue that in Fortnite history, the seven is pretty as famous. This is Doctor Strange or Stephen Strange, the magician, um, the Sorcerer Supreme, or the supposed Sorcerer Supreme, who is no longer Sorcerer Supreme because he got snapped for a few years. So his friend became Sorcerer Supreme. Um, I could see this one definitely coming out because he has a movie just on the horizon, and it looks like an amazing movie. And now that Disney has said no homophobia to DeSantis and withdrew all political funding, uh, I'm good at watching Marvel movies again. Woo. I know I'm going to miss the Fantastic Beast ones, but I was already going to miss the Fantastic Beast ones. I'm just going to doubly miss it now. Over here, the bottom left, we have a, probably the most interesting one for me and the most mysterious. He's some person in a purple costume that looks like a mixture between Deadpool, Mortal Kombat's Reign, and Spawn. I have no idea who he is. If he's an actual character, I have no clue. His suit really does say some kind of Marvel ninja. His eyes in the black really look like Spawn eyes. It looks like something from Spawn. He's got claws, like freaking, I don't know, Black Panther maybe? Um, 
purple armor all over him. He's got lightning. The purple lightning is his cube armor. So maybe he's part of the cube race, like the queen. That could be what he is. Or maybe he's just found a way to inherit the power of the cube and has become a villain, because that's definitely a villain look. Um, I'm surprised they left me in the play. Us, uh, I don't see... There's something on the bottom left here. It looks like a yellow piece of armor, or... Uh, I can't tell if that is a holster or some kind, maybe. It could be a clue. I'm not pretty enough, I guess, to know what that is. I am scanning everything. Scanning, scanning. There's really not much more here. The background with the drills seems to confirm there will be a drivable drill. There was a rumor about the drivable drill. Maybe that I rented the regular cars so you drive the drills around. Who knows? If they are going to do a war theme, I would definitely make it a take sides war theme and put 50 50 back in as a major. Uh, way to play. The ones where everybody came in and you only had one life and it was a 50-50 war and people started dying and you couldn't come back and it would just go until there was whichever team had the remaining people. No response. That gave you that gives you more war-like feeling than any of the other modes in this game and I haven't seen that 50-50 in years. They replaced it with Team Rumble and uh, Team Rumble's the only one that's like that, but has a respawn and feels a little less war, a little less hectic. There's less going on for you if you die, you can always come back. But if you want the real war system, you put the 50-50 people down. Yes, you load it up with uh, AI if you need to, and then you have them duke out until the last man standing. So, what is going on in the world? Well. First, we travel to Russia, where, well, not Russia, Ukraine, where Russia is doing horrible things to people. The Russia attacked a school in um, Mariupol, I believe is the name of the city. The school was knowingly housing 400 civilians taking shelter, so the bombs raining down on houses. Now, notice Russia has been bombing houses in the pieces, Russia has been bombing schools in the pieces, Russia has been bombing hospitals in the pieces. They keep lying their fucking asses off, saying that there's Nazis in here. There's no fucking Nazis. The Ukrainian president's Jewish. His par his his relatives in World War II were arrested and some of them killed by the Nazis. The Ukrainians don't have this giant military of Nazis that Russia keeps lying their ass off about. Right now, Russia's over there lying about Nazis and burning that country to the ground and the latest thing was is they shelled that school for a four full of 400 in civilians and if you go to their damn twitter page russia's like the nazis are there we swear and that made it okay to attack the civilians and the nazis are using civilian shields which is all just bullshit there was no actual military in that building nazi or ukrainian or otherwise except for a few guards trying to protect them that's all that was there. And those aren't even guards, the civilians, they're just armed civilians trying to keep these assholes out of their country. Russia is done. There is no way Russia's gonna know a peace as long as Putin is alive. And it's sad to say, but Putin has ruined himself. He's a dictator, he's a warmonger, he's a criminal. He is murdering innocent civilians with his orders. No matter how much he jerks himself off, he has no future. And Russia has no future unless he is in the ground. That is the only way it's going to work. Uh, to add on to that, Russia was like the other day, like, oh, we don't like that America is taking money from us. And we don't like that people are insulting our ability to war with whoever we feel like and burn little countries to the ground. So maybe we should go after America. And we're like, really? You're sending vans full of boys to go die in Russia. You have tanks abandoned by the hundreds over in Russia. You can't fight a war... I mean, in Russia, in Ukraine. You can't fight a war against a small country who was not exactly prepared for war, even though you've been attacking them for, like, 14 years. What are you going to do to America? The strongest military power in the world? 
there's this meme I saw, which is both funny and sad and 100% true. It said, Russia is about to find out, uh, Russia is about to fuck around and find out why America doesn't have socialized health care. And it showed a whole field of super jets. <laughs> it was like, yeah. As sad as it is, we sacrifice our health so our military could be the best in the world. And I'm not proud of that, but at the same time, it should give Russia pause to think before its stupid Nazi president gets itself in a bind it can't get itself out of. Um, let's look around. It still has me in clay for some reason. That was the longest play ever. Um, let's see what the server status says. Server status under maintenance. Fortnite, you disappoint me. You tusk me. <sighs> um, huh. I used to be able to go into. Oh, wait. No, I. It's search. Search used to be like entertainment and stuff and you could scroll through it. I don't see that here anymore. Today is the 16th anniversary of Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. That was a good one. That was the one that really brought me into Elder Scrolls. I played a little bit of Morrowind on the computer, I think at my cousin's house a long time ago. And it was okay, but I really was never, I never got to sit down with the story, I guess, and really get into it. And then if I go back to Morrowind now, which I can because I have an Xbox that plays old, that plays I have an Xbox One that plays Xbox games. Morrowind had an awful system when it came to skill trees. It was so just hectic and unorganized. People say, oh, but it's the best. No, it wasn't. Oblivion cleaned that up a lot and it just made it better with Skyrim. And ESO is pretty good. It's different, but it's good. But no, Morrowind was not a good skill tree thing. Yes, you could do whatever you want, but it was confusing and half haptic. Meh. But Oblivion brought me in. It had the awesome intro with Patrick Stewart as the Emperor. Um, right off the bat, you're into assassins, taking down things, observing the entire thing. It had intrigue, it had demons, vampires. The only thing Oblivion was missing was werewolves. Um, I'm a huge werewolf fan if you didn't know that for some reason. Yeah, but it was a really amazing game. It was one of the most expansive games I think I had played at the time it came out. Like, the map was huge for games. There's like free roam games. Um, yeah, I want to say Merwin was good, but I think Oblivion was what set Elder Scrolls onto his past success. Sorry, I scratched my eye this morning getting up. Did a special moment or character stay with you? Huh, I honestly, uh, the beginning was pretty special. Just the whole intro with Patrick Stewart. I love Patrick Stewart as an actor, by the way. His British thespian uh, voice and actorship is really, just really draws me in. I, I watched him as a child growing up. Uh, as as Captain Picard from a long time for years. Jeez, how long did Star Trek Next Generation last? Several seasons, and back then seasons were small. You had dozens, if not hundreds, of episodes a season. It's not like these things where you get like four hour long episodes and that's the season nowadays. God damn, I scratched my eye this morning get it up, and it is not happy. It still hurts. Why does that even show up? <laughs> the hell's the search engine here? I just hit search engine, and below everything now is just random shit that they might be doing. 
Ah, there we go. Now we're back on press start. Press start. Oh, poop. And they just put the most random shit down here. So apparently a lot of the people don't know what the LGBA is. And I guess it's time to introduce you to the Republicans attempt, conservative attempt, because it also happens in uh, Britain and other places, to derail and divide the LGBTQ. The LGBA is called is known as the Lesbian, Gay, and Bi Alliance. So now that they're like, oh, that sounds nice. No, it doesn't. Because they are directly exclusive and have shut out the transgender community. They are wholly anti-transgender haters, bidgets. Uh, and the fact is, most of the LGBA and the LGBA creators are not lesbian, gay, or bisexual. They're conservative idiots. They're the same people who are supposed transgenders supporting um, rolling. They're not really transgenders. The other day I had this transgender Supposed transgender person, supposed. I I get on and I have a war of words. I was rolling. She just ignores me. I post things that are critical of her, and then I have people either supporting it, and then people come and hate on it. This one was said, you know, as a transsexual person, maybe you doing this is really hurting us. And I was like, huh, maybe. And then I was like, I'll check out their profile. I checked out their profile. Their entire profile is anti-transgenderism and pushes the ideas that people are forced into transgenderism from childhood and pushes the ideas that gender identity doesn't exist. I'm sitting here going, you're not what you said you were, you're a fucking liar. It's like freaking, there was this group, I don't know if you've ever seen this online, there were lax for Trump. That was the name of the group, I'm not making up that name. But almost, I think every single picture of lax for Trump we're a group of white people wearing the shirts. There doesn't a single black person in there. And the two people they had in the background of Trump wearing those shirts were found out to be paid actors. The only black people for Trump that I am aware of that is a huge, like, known about thing online is the two women, and I can't think of their names right now, that are, like, superstars. And I'm... and. Kanye, who's freaking crazy as shit. And I believe they're there for Trump mostly for the popularity points. Kanye, ever since he jumped up on that stage and said he was the best thing ever since sliced bread, has been trying his hardest to remain popular in the eyes of stuff. It's kind of really sad, dude. Like, do something instead of just trying to create chaos and havoc in hopes that someone will pay attention to you. You're an artist. Be an artist. Not an agent of stupidity and I don't really know about the other two too well I just know they're supposed supporters of Trump <laughs> but they, that's the same thing here there's going to be a lot of people pretending to be transgenders supporting anti-transgender agendas but they're not really transgenders they're just fake people on the internet pretending to be something else and then they will have the people who will take it further um I am going to go off and say what I've said for the longest time. Her name is Caitlyn Jenner. I don't think Caitlyn Jenner was exactly fully, like, the real gender dysphoria transgender. I think she's a rich white person who needed popularity. And in her need for popularity, she changed sex in an attempt to create havoc to make her more popular. And... Ever since then, she's done everything she could to dismantle the transgender community and their rights, including supporting Trumpler. So there will probably be people like that who do that, who will transition for their own purpose, but not because of gender dysphoria. And then I had this crazy ass person last night, and I, you're like, what do you mean crazy ass? This person comes on, and I basically ignored him and said, Blood Sephiroth. Ginger's dysphoria is caused by issues with the X and Y chromosomes, 
and the X and Y chromosomes are being edited by vaccines, so transgendered people are being created by the governments. And I will admit that my jaw was slack for a good full minute, and the problem is, I know these people believe this. I have a person who is a th conspiracy theorist believer at work. He'll talk about the earthquake or weather machines in Alaska. He'll talk about vaccines actually poisoning people or putting microchips into your bloodstream. These people fully believe this insanity. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know why they turn Mulder up to 20. Because even Mulder as theorist conspiracy theorists believing he was Mulder had limits Mulder was right a lot of the time in that show of fiction but Mulder also had limits and that limit was he still kind of needed facts or he stopped believing in stuff and when things are shown proven to be not true Mulder would admit he was wrong and Mulder would move on Mulder wouldn't cling on to an unprovable theory, but you're like, oh, but he pre cling on to aliens, because he could prove aliens were right, he had seen aliens. Mulder wouldn't cling on to unprovable theories forever, like some crazy version. If the theory was unproven, if he could disprove the theory, he would do so, he'd move on, because he was not only an agent, he was a scientist. And I don't understand today's conspiracy theorists who can't do that. Server check. Under maintenance. Czechoslovakia server. Epic, what are you doing? Probably testing. Oh my god, switch, stop it. What is with your glitches? Twitches for Twitches. Okay. What else do we have in here? Okay, lots about the anniversary. Happy anniversary to Animal Crossing. It's also Animal Crossing's anniversary. So now needs to make a Oblivion Animal Crossing. Two years old. That is a nice, relaxing game. I would like... Switch to allow straight Switch streaming, but Nintendo's always been a little bit iffy about anything like that. Oh, let's talk about my copyright issue. I've talked about this, but I haven't gone into in-depth about it. So, I've been going through YouTube and noticing dozens of my videos marked with copyright problems. Now, these are not copyright strikes. These don't actually risk my channel being kicked out. Apparently there's an automatic copyright detecting machine and it is more asshole than music magic, whatever it is that Twitch uses. And it gives copyright infringement things randomly to people and without asking for the people's needs or whatever. And thus your if your video has any kind of music in it whatsoever, you are liable for a copyright strike. And then lots of my lots and lots. Now get out of YouTube. I need to go to the actual page. Lots and lots of my stuff is marked for copyright infringement. Uh, yeah, it's so hard to move around here. Move it to a uh, desktop site. I still plug in my phone. Who knows how long we'll be here waiting? I can sit around here till 12 o'clock, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give it to like 8 or if it doesn't do anything, we'll keep this on as a chat or until we're done chatting. Um, 
12 o'clock, I have to leave. I guess 11.30, I have to leave. It is now 7.40 in my time. Copyright claims. So here is a list of my copyright claims. I'll tell you whether it's bullshit or not, but there is quite a few, actually. Two pages worth. Um, and some of them are maybe decent, some of them are complete bullshit. The first one I have, the latest one I have... Oh, I had a few taken uh, up because I did something to them. That's right, remember that now. So we had some Gran Turismo ones. The Gran Turismo's, maybe. So Gran Turismo mostly, it's being marked, is the uh, music on the menu even though I have the internal tracks on the driving where they'll have more like speech tracks, actual hot ride music. The music and the menus are two things. A, they're specifically Gran Turismo music. B, they're remixes for this game specifically, mostly of uh, any old classical music like dun 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 dun, that kind of music. Um, I don't think either of those are supposed to be copyright infringements. Obviously, video game music shouldn't be copyright infringement when you're streaming video games, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Um, that said... Uh, the other thing, where it's like a remix of an old song they specifically made for GT, I don't think it should be, because it's specifically made for GT, even though the song exists elsewhere in a different form, it is a one licensed for this game by this game created for this game it should be the same as hearing this song over and over again which you're trying to do until it lets us in we are continuing to investigate the server issue preventing us from opening up fortnite game server server and log in we appreciate everyone's patience and provide update when chapter three season two has officially launched <laughs> Someone posted, you're gonna prank Fortnite when they turn on the server, has a uh, hand whipped cream, and then shows them when by the doors is day one, day two, day 7,567. Someone says, please, my boredom has reached peak. Okay, anyway, back to this. So, another thing that we had was actually uh, this game. There's the uh, emote where, from season two, chapter one, where uh, it was, I think, mostly for Ripley, but it's like they're pumping a fist down towards the ground, then they lean down, and then they come back up. And the song actually sounds like a different song, and it was marked. In that case, I believe that it's Fortnite's fault. Now, in Fortnite, I have third-party music turned off. Fully turned off. Not somewhat turned off. It's off. Third-party music shouldn't play. That's why when you get inside the uh, car to go drive around, I only have one radio, and if someone tries to change it, it just glitches out. That said, that sounded exactly like the song they marked it as. I checked it. It was. So, Fortnite, you need to watch your third-party music on your emotes, because some of them still contain third-party music. But, I digress. This is full of bullshit. Now, when you ask, why is it full of bullshit, Josh? Every single Final Fantasy VII OG replay I'm doing, every single Delta rune I've done, Every single fucking video for both of those things. Also, Forza, which I'm going to call out because Forza also has third-party music turned off, so everything playing in there is specifically Forza. Everything in those are marked for um, copyright claim. So we're going to Final Fantasy, which is all copyrighted to the same person. Load faster internet. Copyright claim. See details. So, right here in this video, we have the Genova and the Let Battle Begin song. And if we hit some. Oh, no, I don't see that. I hit this and look to see who did it. 
It is being copyrighted to Latin author Warner Chapel, Warner Chapel, Fuller's Hub, AV, Beetle, Latin Auto Perf, Sony, ATF, a publishing audio, Brasilia. This is some kind of Latin bullshit. I, I'm not even in their fucking country. They don't have any actual rights over Square Enix music. But for some reason, this Latin group has laid some kind of copyright claim on Final Fantasy VII music, which is owned by Square Enix, which is a Japanese company, written by Nobura Uramatsu and licensed by America, this group has copyrighted it. Now, because of this copyright claim, if I was to become, I don't know, the next market player, all of these videos cannot have any kind of monetary gain on them at all. Why? I don't know. Because YouTube is bullshit? Probably. I'm not going to delete these videos. I want to leave my playthroughs of Final Fantasy VII. They just can't be monetized. But... It is obvious there's a problem. The problem extends from an evil Republican who decided that streaming and services like that were too progressive, so he wanted to punish them. And so he did the, the, the DMCA, and since then it's just kind of rolled downhill. It's come to the point where you really can't play anything with any kind of music on it, even if it's video game music, because that is specifically all video games and music by Square Enix. I'm not playing Final Fantasy VII and having Snoop Dogg rolling in the background. I'm playing Final Fantasy VII with MIDI music from Final Fantasy VII on it. And I'm not even playing it and just listening to the music. It just happens to be in the background of what I'm doing. The Genova battle was the ship Genova battle. The Let Be battle begin, which is just like a regular tune, was because we were going around fighting people on the outskirts of cities. But that is not all. We also have Delta Rune. Every single Delta Rune. Every single Undertale. Now, why is this double bullshit? Well, because why is Delta Rune and Undertale popular? Why is Toby Fox popular? YouTube. Mark Plyer, Jacksepticeye. All the, well, not Mark Plyer, really. He was kind of late to the game. But Jacksepticeye, a ton of other YouTubers played Undertale. They, we saw Undertale. Undertale became huge, had this humongous family of fans come out of it because of YouTube. And now YouTube is making it to where you cannot play or stream the game on YouTube and make money off of it, even though that is specifically why that game's popularity exists. If it wasn't for YouTube, I'm sorry, Toby Vox, but there's a huge chance that you might not ever have heard of Undertale, or Toby Fox might have never gotten as popular as he was, and we'd never have in Delta Room. Which would be sad, but then we wouldn't know any better. So, what I have here... Listen, Cat, I am talking to people. What? Really? We're talking, we're chatting. This is... Him. Yeah, it's important work. You know, you're gonna get hugs if you come over here. You know? Like hugs. She's so unhappy. They're gonna hug me, boy. Can I help you? Is there a reason you're up here screaming at me? You just want pets? You're not the kind who hangs up here, sweetie. This is Squeaky, everybody. And she's gone. I said her name, and now she's on the floor. Don't go on the floor and yell at me on the floor. I can't pet you down there. I'm getting into the electronics, please. You're the kind that climbs on everything. Okay, so we go to copyright claim for one of the latest Delta Runes. See details. And oh my god, that's right. And in, in Delta Rune and Undertale, every single song is set. So we have Scarlet Forest, The World Revolving, Chaos King. Uh, this is Undertale, isn't it? I don't know, this is Delta Rune. The World Revolving is in Delta Rune? Oh, no, this is done. Oh, no, World Revolving is Delta Room. What am I thinking? <laughs> Delta Room Chapter 1. Chaos King, the World Revolving again. World Revolving 2020, World Revolving Orchestra Strangle Remix. Now they're just making shit up. Failed Hopes of Dreams and World Revolving Regular. Um, all copyrighted by something called Materia Music Publishing. I looked up Material Music Publishing and specifically doesn't own Deltarune's shit, 
it is an anti-copyright piracy system. Now, I don't know if Toby, for some reason, teamed up with him to stop copyright piracy or what, but it, they are specifically abusing their powers to stop people from making money off the reason Toby Fox and Undertale is popular YouTube playthroughs. And if they keep doing this, people are going to stop playing playthroughs. I mean, why should people start playing playthroughs if the playthroughs aren't going to make them money? So here is my idea. Fuck YouTube. Advertisers need to go straight to the YouTubers. Instead of getting a commercial through YouTube prop monetization, YouTube property ship, through actual commercials, what you need to do is go straight to the YouTuber, straight to the Twitch streamer, and go, I want to advertise on your channel. So instead of a skippable commercial, what they do, uh, skippable or unskippable commercials, what they do is you look at New Rockstar, New Rockstar does this by the way, is they take a moment out of their time on screen, they hold up the product, and maybe they create their own commercial and splice it into their, uh, their uh, video, and they advertise the product themselves, and they cut out the middleman. YouTube doesn't get any money from this. YouTube's is like, you're not getting any money from us. Now isn't getting any money from us. And YouTube go eat shit. Um, because of its super copyright system. So, advertisers go to the actual YouTubers, advertise through them directly. I've seen Jacksepticeye do this more often. He just did it last night, I think, for NordVPN. And he's one of the top YouTubers, and so now he's doing it just so he can actually play these games that are getting demonetized because YouTube's full of shit. YouTube has lost its way. YouTube has forgot why it exists. YouTube has forgotten the YouTubers. YouTube will eventually just crumble into nothingness, but hopefully we streamers and YouTubers survive and find a new platform to socialize on. Really, what do you think we're going to do for? I think we're going to do Anyway, get out of YouTube. Oh no, we lost the other thing we were doing. Server check. Under maintenance. Well, she it. She it, as they say in Texas, with an SH, three E's, and an IT. Wow, um, the frig is this? Twitter Seductive Sundays. <laughs> Indeed, I'm afraid to ask. Yeah, I got what I about I expected out of that. Don't go look that up, guys. <laughs> Why is that number one? Pretty much training. Is that training number one? I showed up as top training. No, I'm completely for all the uh, lewd content found on Twitter. It's an adult right to share that stuff if they feel like it. I'm against like freaking what was it? Tumblr's thing. The Tumblr just kicked it out. The Sony is training. I'm afraid to ask why. Hey, 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 get off my phone. <laughs> According to only Coca Cola, only two employees are privy to the complete formula at any given time, and they are not permitted to travel together. At the Sony, the propriety mop in the bucket they ring it out of into must uh, ring it out into must be held by a different member of custodial staff. Who's Candace? What's going on with the Dasani? There's this thing that says maybe Candace's taste buds got messed up after Trump threw her under that bus. <laughs> I don't know who Dasani is. I mean, I don't know who Dasani is. I don't know what's going on. Candace Owens. Okay, just always why we something stupid. Let's see.
<laughs> People hate Candace Owens so much that she defended the sunny water. That's when you know you lost any dignity you got left. So Candace Owens, if you don't know her, she's African American, but she's also uh, her big time Trumpsy. She's uh. She's racist against her own kind. Um, we'll just well, let's look at this last tweet. And she does this most likely for popularity, for drama, to make her something. Um, but let's look at her last tweet, shall we? Or one of her last ones. Just got through changing out my thank you for Dr. Fossey or sign for an all praise Zelensky one. Any person who neglects to do so is a grandma killer. I, I mean, white supremacist. No, anti Semitic. Or is it Putin's of it? Whatever you know the thing. So what she's doing is criticizing people who are critical of white supremacists, anti-Semitism, and Putin, and criticizing Fossey, and criticizing Zelensky. She's a right-wing tool, troll, whatever you want to call her. That's what she's beginning. She's a conservative 100%, but I don't know if it's because she just has no soul or because it has garnered her popularity. She is Kendall's Owens. She is somebody because of what she does. If she wasn't such a hateful person, it's not entirely sure if people will know who Candace Owens was. So that's why she's like that. And that's the thing we do. We eat these hate-filled people, Candace Owens, uh, most of the Fox News group, uh, Trump and his children. We give them popularity because of what they do and what they've done. And they continue to do it because it gets them noticed. All the water companies are now, now uniting against Candace Owens. Sony, Coca-Cola product Coca-Cola has now halted operations in Russia. Nestle owns 80% bottled water brands worldwide, has not halted operations in Russia. Nestle is a broken brand though. They're the reason. They're part they're partially a reason Can Canada. California has had such a problem with drought. They've drained tons of their water supply for profits. Get your floofy tail out of my computer. Why are you so needy this morning? Candace Owens, having claimed Hitler was fine until he saw her did operating outside Germany's waters, now turns his, her historical expertise to Ukraine. Candace Owens says, Ukraine wasn't a thing until 1989. Ukraine was created by the Russians. That's not how it happened. Tony Pensnesky says, Listen, the sunny water is good, but I'll be going to drink cases of the sunny do a flash dance scene with the sunny water before I would ever expect to listen to Candace Owens. <laughs> uh, it's funny because you really haven't really heard anything from her until now. But she created controversies now. She's popular again. Popular, 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 Katie. I hear things happening downstairs. I think she might be cheating you. I never hit you up here. Cute. Really cute. She's part of the whole cook class. Don't tell your uncle I called you the cutest cat, he'll be mad at me. If you are, you're squeaky, you're the tiniest cat of them all. You were so soft, it's like touching satin. How do you have such soft fur? I say we could make a hat out of you, but you're so small there's not enough. <laughs> you're definitely not as jumpy as your mom. Thank you, Meryl. Wait, what? Watch out, you're gonna fall off the bed. Okay, guys, that's enough candy zones. Can we go to something else? Trending Epic Games. Oh, uh oh. Epic Games said, oh yeah. Uh, if you haven't heard, I don't think I said it while we started streaming. 
Um, Epic Games has decided to donate everything from uh, now until April 3rd to your trade. That means every single purchase you make of this battle pass, and every single purchase you make of the store until the 3rd of April is going to be your trade. Going to help the people over there who are being bombed to smithereens the rings by the evil Russians. That's actually pretty epic, and I applaud Epic for doing that. You guys are freaking awesome. Now, please get your servers up so we can play and not stare at this cool street forever. What are you marrying me about, man? I'm talking to people on the internet. They're people. You're cute, but they're not people. Or are you people? This cat says, I am people. This cat says, Pay attention to me, I'm meowing at you. Don't stand on my phone. Okay, so there is a rumor, and I don't know how true it is, that outside of competitive and arena playlists and Team Rumble... Okay, so outside of competitive arena, Team Rumble, and Creative Islands, you will not be able to build for a while. That means once we hop into solo here, there's no building. Which means we're going to play how I usually play without the ability to block ourselves off. It's going to be a third-person shooter for a while. The idea is this is a war, I think, and we're running low on supplies or something. I don't know. We usually just pick up supplies on the island anyway. But, um, yeah, there's no building whatsoever. I'm just going to hit this for the hell of it. Oh, one hour quay. The fuck? I'm here for an hour anyway. Well, I'll work. Well, what the quay? What the quay? Can we get out of this quay? I didn't mean to get a one hour quay. Quay quay? Quay quay quay. Well, are you gonna tell us? Is this still a company? Is Oshkosh Gosh still around? God. Okay, most of this epic stuff. <laughs> this is the <laughs> this is the MF for Epic Games hired to turn the Fortnite servers on. It's just some guy, with his hip staring at a mess of wires. And it appears to be a server. It obviously is me. A little funny. Don't speak. Whatever that is. It's like Spanish, but I don't recognize any of those words. I usually know Spanish a little. I live in Tejas, and I have to learn Spanish as you grow up here. Epic game artist making absolutely most high quality loading screens for no reason. <laughs> it is a very high quality loading screen. Epic game, so this is I Fire Monkey. I Fire Monkey is usually pretty good on the leaks. Epic Games has started testing a new experiment code named Hot Tamale with Tofu. You use this however you want. So H T W T Hot Tamale with Tofu. First thing, that sounds awful. I've eaten tofu before. Tofu pretty much is tasteless. So pretty much what you're going to have is corn wrap tastelessness unless you got the tofu somehow flavored. Hot tamale with tofu. I could. It's a code name, so it's not going to be something simple. Um, how to war? I don't know. There is some. I've seen some rumors about lightsabers being coded back in. The lightsabers we had during the Star Wars event. Um, I don't know if that's true. If that is true, we may be having a Star Wars thing. It's obvious Dark Vader and Tie Fighters are not in this at all. The ships look like something out of some old 80s sci-fi thing. But if there's going to be some space battles going on, that would be uh, a reason to bring Star Wars back in, since we'll be possibly in the Star Wars universe still. Epic Games appears to be working, bring, oh, working on bringing the Party Royale matching bus into creative mode. As they added some new settings, such as picking the island code it tries matching for when interacted with. Oh, 
okay, I get it. So the bus that's sitting in the middle of Potty Royale, you can put it in a creative island and make your creative island a launching point for matching. So instead of going to Potty Royale, you can create your own thing. Now what they need to do, as well as that, is bring the screens into your creative so you can just upload a screen onto your creative and just make your place the place to hang out and wait for whatever's going on in the screen. Yes, I know about the donations. <laughs> what the hell is that? Someone posted a feely with a uh, minion's face on it. At the rate. Oh no, I was reading my fire monkey, you jackasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to iFire Monkey now. I want to read everything he said. Okay, we're at iFire Monkey now. He is one of my go-tos for leaks, and technically he has had no leaks for the last few days, which shows you that they've kept everything very long around. Fortnite servers are back up, however, some people are experiencing one hour free times. They're not back up. I have it open. It says maintenance. Still says maintenance. Why are liar pants for hire? I mean, I'm not gonna do anything with this one hour play time. We're gonna be here anyway. Uh, if this doesn't hit go in by 10 o'clock, we're gonna call it. We're just gonna leave this as a chat we had on here. Um, I can't see. I don't have the chat open on my phone, so if you're talking to me, I apologize. Da -da 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 -da. All milestones this season. Catch fists, bounties, forest items, I owe forces, opponents, spawn structures. So that we're going to have builds eventually. Destroy trees, eliminations, materials, open vaults. Vaults are still here. Reboot teammates. Oh, my least favorite. Search chests or ammo. Spin bars. Deal damage in a tank. Ah, we are getting tanks. <laughs> Thank the bus driver. Travel distance in a vehicle. Use bandages or med kits. So when it says travel distance in a vehicle, that means we're getting more than tanks. So we either still have cars or we're going to be tanks and boats. I'm not sure. Any machine gun this is. That's it. That's all he has so far. Okay. <laughs> now nah, he's just trolling us. He said this Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 gameplay is different, and it is the Roblox lobby for uh, the Disaster game. It's so bad that I know what that lobby looks like. By the way, you can begin to fund the Armored Battle Bus. The Armored Battle Bus is a battle bus that's ready for battle. This intimidating metallic machine has just about all the fixings. Chunker tires, a cow catcher for extra ramming power, and a light and heavy turret. It's not all this is in this vehicle though. If you turn the radio on, it immediately becomes a party bus. Once 100% funded, find an armored battle bus in a resistant occupied POI. Wait. It's a bus you can drive around. With friggin' turrets on it. What the hell? We haven't had a turret vehicle since Chapter 1 Season, oh, I don't know, 5, 6? I don't remember. Used to be able to take the turrets and you could put it on the quad crashers, I think. And you could ride around with turrets on the not quad crashers, ATVs, quad crashers. One of those you could ride around with the turrets on and you could shoot people. You had a mobile turret, I believe. I remember correctly. That or I'm just reading that up, I'm not sure. Unvaulted weapons and weapons stained from season one. Unvaulted weapons, thermal scope assault rifle. Mm -hmm. Drum shotgun. Ooh, interesting. A revolver. Meh. Remote explosives. That will wait. Is it which remote explosives? Like the C4, just for fun. Thermo scoped a revolver. I don't even remember that. Storm scout rifle. Meh. Though not a weapon per se. Shockwave grenades. Meh. Chapter three. Guns returning. Ranger assault rifle. Yay. Striker bump shotgun. Yay. I guess. Okay. Auto shotgun. Yes. Sidearm pistol. Meh. Fingers and GS. Hunter Velocity Sniper, good. That's the sniper I want to use. Shadow Tracker, man. Marksman Six Shooter, man. The Dub, man. Boom Sniper Rifle. Okay, I like that one. 
Oh, why do you do this to me, bitch? I just looked at the picture, you got three set. That's Twitch, Twitter. Twitch, Twitter, Twitter, Twitch. Twitcher. Twitcher. Weapons for sh Weapons with first shot accuracy will now reach the slate more smoothly, resulting in near perfect spread accuracy moments. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> Epic Games has now confirmed that the building is unaffected in competitive arena playlists as well as team. Oh, we already saw that one. Building has been wiped out. To help maintain cover, you now have to have Overshield on top of your shield and health. The Overshield is your first line of defense. Before you shield and, and health take a hit, it's your Overshield that will crack. Your Overshield will recover if it goes all the way down. It will still recover if it goes all the way down to zero. So, we're going to have a few weeks of fighting without shields, right? But... I think there's a reason behind this. You ever notice building takes place automatically as you put it down? I think the building is taken over place canonly by the Fender bots, the same Fender Tech bots, the same ones that you see uh, uh, pick you up once you fall. And uh, apparently, maybe someone's disabled their ability to build. That would be my canon reason. Bar funding returns. Chip in bars towards pro resistant weapons and vehicles and take things further by funding the installation of turrets, including the heavy turret made for confronting vehicles. Chapter 3, Season 2 Description. Join the resistance in the final battle to free the zero point. Try all new tactics like sprinting, mentally, and more. Mentally? Mantling. Okay, so sprinting, we have the ability to run faster, I guess. I don't know what the frick of mantling is. Board an armored battle bus to be a powerful force, or cow attach a cow catcher to your truck for extra running power. Take on your opponents in the ultimate battle for the zero point in Chapter Three, Season Two: Resistance. The Fortnite servers have gone back to hell. One hour. We already know that. All battle, no building. As a reminder, if you happen to get stuck in a quake closer in the game when the play timer launches on the last minute and they launch it as in the past. Well, it's the words it's not gonna work because their system's down. Chapter two lobby ground ground looks like freaking rattle horizon gone. Did they did they up the graphics? Are they gonna up the graphics on us? I mean the graphics already look nice, but are they gonna up it or is it just a nice looking background? Confirm no building challenges. You can have building challenges if there's no builds. That's some more pictures of the people with us. There's some anime character who's not on here. So on here, I have an anime character. Oh, I guess it might be viable in the store, actually. So the lady on the right looks a little more cartoonish in this picture. And then we have another anime-looking character that is very cel-shaded. Uh, has some cat ears. Ooh, I'm gonna like her. She is cool looking. She's got this like ninja One Piece thing going on. Not One Piece as in freaking Pirates One Piece as in it's a single piece. <laughs> it's green. It's very female Link looking actually. It's like Linket only uh, more attractive looking. And I was never a big fan of Linket's look in actual uh, that Zelda game. Um, there's a picture of that 1-7 guy who looks like he's part cube. He has like cube queen's crown around his chest. He may be like cube king or something. Definitely male. Doesn't have cube queen boobies. Uh, so, uh, update on how we're going to late. As you know, I, I did one video of Arnott the other day, and I was thinking, how could we make that more interesting? So when we get in here, eventually, today or tomorrow, we're going to go through the battle pass, and... Woo, excuse my nose. We're going to attempt to raid it. We're going to have three ratings, and they're going to be somewhat on the weird side, just to make things interesting. We have sexiness, we have overall originality, and we have um, the cool factor, because those are the three things we're having before. Not all characters will be sexy. You can't get in and say, purely so vulnerable. Um, not all characters are going to be cool factor. You can't get in and say Fish Sticks is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and originality. Not all characters are going to be original. For example, Dr. Shane should get in zero on originality because he is a character from a different thing. But like, uh, 
the lady over here on the right would have good originality. I don't want to do it until we get into the actual battle pass and we start raiding things. Um, ah, don't worry, I'll be fair with this. Uh, cause I am boss this shit. Wow, uh, this picture is strange, is a little strange looking. Maybe it's just because the lighting on it. Maybe this person's not playing with a full 4K. Ooh, I like that. Does she have. Oh, she does. So that's Ladies in the Seven has a nose ring. Nose rings, for some reason, are kind of. I can find noses very attractive. And when you do things like that to them, it just seems to uh, be an upgrade. Speaking of upgrading down and ground rating noses, there's this picture the other day I saw on Twitter. And the guy had long nose with a crook in it. It wasn't like weird or anything of it. It was very attractive. I find those noses attractive. But he went out of his way to shorten his nose to make it just look like, I don't know, like my nose, like a little white person nose or something. It's like, why? You had this amazingly attractive nose. You just like locked it off. Why would you do that? I don't know who the hell that is. Why are you showing up on my YouTube? Cody can't eat this. So it sees the first nine days of Chapter 3 Season 2 will have building disabled. So nine days of no building. That will be fun. I'm actually saying that for real. That will be fun. That'll be interesting. It won't make a lot of the builders be happy, but then they can go to freaking arena and go build to their arts content. This is fun for us. Seven supply drops will be camoed. That's interesting. Got some new emotes. The emotes look pretty cool. I don't technically use these picture emotes, but I would if Fortnite added randomization to the emotes. I would pretty much leave all my characters a randomized emotes except for the emotes that are specifically for them. And if you had randomized emotes once in a while, I'd have things to throw up. But they show what appears to be an injured Jonesy cartoonish. Um, some lady in orange glasses who looks very, like, whatever face. Some lady in green and blue hair that is sweating and is looking at bricks, shield, and health. Exclamation point, question, exclamation point, GG book. Oh, in Harry Potter style graphics. That's a. Uh, yeah, font that's a little bad on the timing there considering how stupid their pater is. Um, we have a clawed hand with cube energy running around it. It's probably that guy's right there. It looks like a cube monster. Maybe that guy's a cube monster. Um, we have Stone Jonesy doing the, I don't know, shrug. We have a metallic thumbs up. I don't recognize the metallic hand. I guess it could be our metal dude back right there, but it doesn't look like it. It has like a joint, a really exposed joint at the wrist area. A kissing mark. We have what appears to be the Cube Queen's crown. Um, a happy face with the with earphones on it and electricity, like the purple electricity from Cube Electricity going around it. I kind of like that one a lot. I would like that one in like Facebook or Twitter or something. Use Facebook anymore. We have a finish flag. When I say finish flag, I mean finish line flag, checker flag, not a flag from Finland. And a bunny dude. Oh, Easter's coming up, isn't it? Blah 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 blah. Every level from, I hope they fix this, every level from level 1 to level 201 requires 75k XP. This includes early levels like level 1. After level 201 per level, starts increasing by 400 XP. After level 201 XP per level, starts increasing by 400 XP. Basically, to hit level 200, you need 15 million XP. This is 190,000 XP more than last season. Also going to make leveling up at all super slow. 
Epic is aware of an issue where boats and cars may appear to stutter or hitch while driving despite being on smooth surface. Oh, that shouldn't be too bad if it's just bouncing around hitching. If it's the kind of hitch where it starts throwing you like I'm playing Cyberpunk and hit somebody, then that might be bad. Challenge XP. We won't be hitting Quay Line again until it gets up. I may end up canceling here, but we'll keep talking just to see. Challenges, dailies, 1000 XP, boot count 45k. Challenges for using generic tag, 18k, no build LTM, 40k, milestone, 7k. Weekly is 20k, daily and milestone bonus goals, 15k. Weekly bonus goals, 40k. Vaults around seven outposts with a lock that requires multiple players to open. Currently, our lock shut and will not activate. Oh, they have locked down the vaults. Oh, we have vault missions, so weird. A new season means new opportunities to flex your skill. Crown victory royales displayed in the crowning achievement remote have been reset with chapter three, season two. Oh no, my one has gone down to zero. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, the umbrella. We're going to be doing Fortnite for a while until I get the umbrella. Currently, all of Chapter 3 Season 2 stuff has, such as a lot of background, is set to activate at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Really? Oh wait, it is 9 a.m. Eastern Time. 9 a.m. Eastern Time in Central Time. Yeah, it should be up. So, we're just waiting on whatever the error is. And... Checking server status. Under maintenance. Well, if we get going here, we'll go to 12. No, I have to get off 11.30. We'll go to 11.30. 9, 10, 11. That'll give us two and a half hours at least. But... I think... That if by 9 we don't get any information, I'm going to call it. I'm going to go do other stuff. And we'll be back tomorrow morning. Monday, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow morning. What do I work tomorrow? While we're here, let's discuss the next week. So, uh, I'll definitely be able to play tomorrow morning. Um, oh, you know what? I don't have to leave the one today. I forgot that I have a later work day today. That's fun. Um, I'll be able to play tomorrow morning. If we don't get in today, I'll wait on this till maybe 9.30, 10 o'clock. We'll sit here and talk. But in case you, you don't go to play today, we'll be on tomorrow morning for our, our premiere, I guess. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, we should be able to play in the morning. Thursday, we'll play mid morning because I'll be taking my son to school. Uh, wait, but I have. Okay, so. Rick. Wednesday and Thursday, I have doctor's appointments. So hold your horses. Hold your horses. I said hold them. Take your horses. Have them tight and hold the poor horses. They need hugs too, you know. Poor horses don't want to hug the horses anymore. They're sad horses. Don't tell me my fingerprint is not a match for my fingerprint. I am so used to fingerprint stuff nowadays, I can't imagine going back. Okay, so I have a 9 a.m. appointment on Wednesday, so I'll be playing after that around 10 ish. So about midday Wednesday, we'll play a little bit. Um, Sunday, I also have about a 10 a.m. Oh, I'm sorry, Sunday. Thursday, I have about a 10 a.m. Uh, appointment. And if... Wait, is someone on? Someone said they got on. Hold on here. So anyway, I got a 10 a.m. appointment on Thursday after dropping my son off. So if I get back in time, we may have an hour or two of playing, but we may not get to. Now, I don't know if I showed you all this the other day. No, I didn't. So I was on Twitter when one of the people who, like, here some free codes for Fortnite got on and did something, and I got on early enough to get it. And it is a TARDIS spray paint. You have no idea how much it shit my pants. I do know that there is a Doctor Who, um, uh, what do you call it, creative thing, uh, created and for the BBC, and that's awesome. But I'm hoping with that, we also get some Doctor Who content in the game. 
I want David Tennant. I want Dalek Blackbeam. I want a giant ass Sonic Screwdriver to use as a tool. Just give me that. Give us Doctor Who fans something. I think Doctor Who wise, they could either split all the Doctors up and make them each personable, or do the right thing and make one Doctor somewhat expensive and give him the uh, ability to change into all Doctors, whichever Doctor you want to play as. You could do William Hartnell. You can do freaking any of the other old ones. I don't know all their names. You do David Tennant. Um, uh, forgot the guy before David Tennant's name. He's an actor. Big actor. He's freaking the Marvel movies too. I can't think of his name right off the top of my head. There's my I'm asking right for you. You could do um uh, da, 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 Jody, Matt Smith. Uh, you could do any of them. You could even do the new one. Maybe with the new one being released, if they release the new one, alongside of that we get some Doctor Who content, some items. I will pick up all the Doctor Who content. I promise that epic. You bring Doctor Who into the store, it's getting sold. Whether that money's going towards you or your trade. I'm good with doing either. So we're going to get over here to this YouTube. So that's only it's clickbait. Because the first thing I see is this picture of... Let me skip the ad. No, it is not clickbait. Okay, this guy is Doctor Strange off the right off the bat. So either Doctor Strange is, uh, stop, 47 minutes to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down and come back, and we're going to keep this as free game chat. It probably won't be uploaded. I'll be right back, guys. Just to see what happens. Okay, maybe if I can figure out how to control my freaking PlayStation. <laughs> 